It's another math day here with teacher Jenny. Join me for another topic. And this time we're talking about finding z-scores. Let us try to find the z-score for this given illustration. We have area is 0 0.3708 and the area is attached to the center, which is equal to 0. So all we have to do if you try to look at that one, your area is attached to the center. This is under case one. So you have to look at the area right away on the Z table. So locating 0 0.3708, notice on the Z table you will be uh, with an area arranged in an increasing order. So you have to look for 0 0.3 and on that area you are going to look for the 0 0.3708 so 0 0.3708 is this one so you have to move across to your first column this is the first component of the z-score move up and this is now the second component so how to write your z-score you will have there 1.1 on the first component the second component you have to get the last digit and attach that here or if you want, you can just simply add up the value. So we have 1.1 and then on the first row, we have 0 0.03. Adding that up, that would be equal to 1.13. So that is simply similar to just putting the last digit on the first row to the first component on the first column. Take note, you have to consider the placement of your z-score, if that is on the right side of your mean or the right side of zero, that's a positive. But if that is found on the left side, that should be negative. So let us have this one. So the z-score here is on the left side of the mean. So we are expecting a negative z-score. So locating this one to the z-table, because again, the area is connected to your center. So you locate right away to the Z, ta Z table. We have 0 0.0517. Locating that one, the area is here. We move across to the first column and move up. So first column, we have 0 0.1. And the header, you have the last digit as 3. So this is now our Z score. We have negative 0 0.13. Negative because it's on the left side of your mean. So let us now go for this area. Now notice your area is not anymore bounded by zero and so with this z-score. So if that will be the case, you have that under case number two, which is you will be subtracting with 0.5. So since this is bigger than 0.5, so we will do 0 0.8577 minus 0 0.5. Now why is that? Because what we wanted to look for on the Z table are always an area coming from zero up to the certain Z score. So this area here. To get this area, you are to get rid of this Z or area here. And this area is equivalent to 0.5. So we will be subtracting 0 0.8577 with 0 0.5. This will be now 0 0.3577. So the 0 0.3577 is this area from 0 to Z. So we will be locating that one on the Z table. So locating 0 0.3577, we have that in here. We move across. We have 1.0 on the first column. Move up. We have 0 0.07. Combining the two components, we have. And again, this is on the left side. So this is... This is negative 1.0, attaching the last digit, which is 7. So we have negative 1.07. Next one, we have here an, an area which is not connected to the center again. So if you wanted to look for the z-score, we will find an area from 0 up to the z-score. So to get that area, we are going to subtract the entire area of the right side, which is 0 
and then we subtract this area we have to get rid of this area so that means we subtract 0 0.1093 so adding more zeros and borrowing so this is now 7, this is 0, this is 9, this is 3, so we have 0 0.3907, which is this area from 0 to Z. We will be locating that one on the Z table. So 0 0.3907, this is here. So following or moving across to the first column, we have 1.2. Moving up, we have 0 0.03. And Combining those two z-score components, we have 1.2 attaching your 3, the last digit on the first row. So we have 1.23 on our z-score. Next, we have this one. Again, this is under second case. So we have to look for an area bounded by 0 up to this z-score. So to do that one, we just have to do... 0.5 minus the given area which is 0 0.0188 then adding more zeros and borrowing we have 10 minus 8 that's 2 9 minus 8 that's 1 9 minus 1 that's 8 and 4 minus 0 that's 4 so we have 0 0.4812 locating that one on the z table so 0 0.48 One, two, this is here, with 2.0 on the first column, and the first row here is 0 0.08. So combining that one, so we have negative because it's on the left side, negative 2.0, attaching your 8 as the last digit on the first row. So we have here an... A statement but we don't have an illustration so all we have to do is to understand the statement so find a z-score to the right of the mean with an area 0 0.1985 or 0 0.1985 since this is um, to the right of the mean meaning to say we have that one bounded by the mean so automatically we'll be locating our 0 0.1985 on the z-score so 0 0.1985 will be here and then moving across and up so we have your 0.5 on the first row I mean first column and 0 0.02 on the first row so combining all those we have our z scores as 0 0.5 attaching to this is positive because it says here to the right of the mean so that is positive so let us now go for the next one. Find the z-score to the left of the mean with an area of 0 0.3413. So again, this is to the left. So we are expecting a z-score which is negative. And since the area is bounded by the mean, automatically we locate our 0 0.3413 on the z-table. So 0 0.3413... That is here. So we have our z with the first component as 1.0 and the second one as 0 0.001. So combining, this is now negative 1 or you can have it as negative 1.0. So that is now the z-score. Okay, if we are going to have this statement, all you have to do is to understand your statement here so find a z-score with an area of 0 0.5517 to its right so since we have here right that means to say that if we have our z-score now this is really important because you don't know where your z-score is it's gonna be either on the left side or right side so one thing is you have to look at your area and check if that's less than 0 0.5 if that is less than 0 0.5, you stay on the same side of the direction of the shading. And if that is greater than 0 0.5, then you go opposite of the direction or opposite side of the direction of the shading. So let us try to go back. Area is 0 0.5517. Area here is greater than 
0 0.5. So if the area is greater than 0 0.5, so we are to go the opposite side of the direction. It says here the area is to its right of your z-score. So since it says right, then we go to the left. So locating that one on the left side, we have 0 0.5517, that will be somewhere here. And if I'm going to shade it, according to that one, it's going to be on the right side. So this is now to the right. So we will be finding our area, or not area, but disease core corresponding to this area, which is 0 0.5517. And again, since area is greater than 0.5, and if you try to look at the illustration there, your area is under case number 2. It is not bounded by the mean, so we will have to do 0 0.5517 minus 0 0.5. So every case 2 or every area which is not bounded by the mean, you will have to do a minus 0.5. So this is now 0 0.0517. Locating 0 0.0517, this is here. So our z-score is with 0, that's negative, negative 0 0.1. And then the last digit on the first row is 3. So we have it negative 0 0.13. Next, we go for this one. So find the z-score with an area of 0 0.0869 to its right. So again, we have an area, which is 0 0.0869, which is less than 0 0.5. So since this is less than 0 0.5, so we will follow same side. Same side to the direction of the shading. So again, we have the shading to the right. That should be on the right side as well. We have 0 0.0869, which is so small. And we're shading that one to the right. So this is now our z-score. Since this is under case 2, so we will be subtracting our 0 0.5 by 0 0.0869. Then we have 0, 0 here. Then borrow. 10 minus 9, that's 1. 9 minus 6, that's 3. 9 minus 8, that's 1. And 4 minus 0, that's 4. So we have 0 0.4131 as our area to locate here on the Z table. So 0 0.4131, we have that under 1.3 on the first column and first row as 6. So this is now positive because it's on the right side. So 1.3 and then attaching 6, we have 1.36 as our Z score. So again, that's finding our Z score. So I hope you learned something from me today. And I'll see you on my next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.